Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olga Onizola Nenning, if it's your first time. Today's video is about herbal medicine and I'm going to take you on a journey into the forest. Literally, although digitally. I went, this morning I went into the forest to harvest some medicinal herbs because during the last couple of years I came to realize that I do have hay fever and I have high sensitive sinuses and also I want to protect my respiratory system and all and all these three herbs are wonderful for that so I made videos and I made a voiceover where I share the benefits, the medicinal benefits, and also ways in which you can eat it. Not recipes, but just the way you can eat it. And um, before I guide you into it, uh, through this video, um, there are a couple of warning warnings that if you go and harvest your own wild edible plants or medicinal plants, do some research yourself first. Um, there's a lot to find on the internet. This is just an introduction video um, Make sure that you harvest the right ones because um, a lot of them are very medicinal healing But sometimes some plants look like other plants that are deadly and You might have seen the movie into the wild and if not well that will make you realize that we have to be careful and also be careful be cautious where you harvest it where you pluck them uh, make sure that it's not a place where dogs or foxes peed on it and that can be very difficult and tricky um, oh yeah i have them here and let's just first go into the video so enjoy The first herb I found and harvested today is Lok zonder Lok, English known as garlic mustard. Hmm, garlic mustard, just alongside the road. When you crush a leaf, you will smell an oniony, oniony, garlicky, garlicky onion smell. It is lovely to cook with. It is high in vitamin A and C and the roots taste like horseradish and can be pickled or used in soups as a root vegetable. The seeds when ground make a wonderful mustard sauce or can be used as black pepper. The leaves and stems are anti-asthmatic. Today I was looking for herbs that are good against hay fever. That was the reason I went out today. Garlic mustard leaves treat bronchitis, asthma and also eczema. The roots can be chopped up small and then heated in oil to make an ointment to rub on the chest in order to bring relief from bronchitis. The leaves are very rich in vitamins A, B, C and E and contains Potassium, calcium, magnesium, selenium, copper, iron, manganese, and omega-3 fatty acids. The second one is Honstraf, in English ground ivy. It is part of the aromatic mint family and it has a sagey minty flavor. And when you harvest it, when you pluck it and you crush a leaf, it, it smells a bit like oregano. This one is an herb that I know for a long, long time and a few years ago I learned that it's good when you have hay fever. So you can make it in a tea, I'm gonna dry them, and, but it's also edible. Flowers can be used in salads also, which would look so cute. On the, the leaves you can also use it in soup or broth or cook it down like spinach. They look a bit like 
purple dead nettle or handbit net dead nettle because of the size of the leaves and they both have well ground ivy and purple dead nettle both have purple flowers small purple flowers but when you put them next to each other you can really tell the difference and i told you we should be careful to know to make sure that we have the right herbs but in this case it's all safe because they are related to each other and they are all edible you can find these by the way in darker shady areas and the medicinal benefits of the ground ivy are that they're good um, cures for colds they are anti-inflammatory and anti-flu anti-sinusitis and they aid against ear aches and ear infections and fun note that they're also an antidote for nettle sting so when you're playing outside whether it's you alone or with friends family or it's your children and they come run at you ah, i got stung by nettle now you know that you can use this one and also the next herb um, to treat the sting just crush it and rub it on the afflicted area and the sting will go away Lastly, ground ivy, when you eat it or you make a tea of it, it's also good for digestive disorders and acid indigestion and gastritis. Also, side note, next to taking, also give a little to Mama Earth. When I think about it, and I try to do that every time I go into the forest or yeah, mostly forest in the dunes, I take an extra plastic bag to collect some trash because it's always full of it where people come. And today I was happy that I took a couple of plastic bags and let me tell you, at the end of my walk, this bag was full. Because here, look, how long is it laying here, plastic bottle. Love Mama Earth. Let us take care of Mama Earth. The third and last herb that I found today is Smalle Weegbree, in English known as Ripwort Plantain. When I first heard this name plantain, I was so confused because plantain to me is plantain, it's banana, but apparently this herb also goes by this name and you have two kinds so you have common plantain and ripwort plantain in Dutch smalle weegbree and groot weegbree and these young leaves can also be eaten they can be eaten raw they have a slightly bitter flavor and these you can also use in soups or salads or cook it like spinach so the roots and seeds can also be eaten, usually cooked. And the flower buds, if you cook them, they work well for making a mushrooms kind of stuck. The leaves used in treatment of sinusitis, asthma and bronchitis. So again, it's very good for the respiratory ailments. Healing benefits for toothaches, prevent infections, they protect wounds. Again, just like the ground ivy, when you have wounds, you can rub this against it to prevent infections. And ripwort plantain is also widely applied for hay fever, allergic conditions, where the mucous membranes are dry and or high sensitive. It is of much use treating respiratory conditions. Both plantains help to provide long-term improvement in respiratory health. They can be recommended for a number of respiratory ailments, such as bronchitis, sinusitis, as well as middle ear complaints. Plantains act as calming, soothing expectorants, helping relax irritating cuffs, especially where accompanied by general tightness or the airways.
I hope that was informative for you and entertaining at the same time. Maybe maybe a bit soothing or calming. Um, like I said, I have them here. So this is the weegbree, the the plantain. This is um, the hondstraf, the um, ground ivy. And this is the mustard garlic. So I'm going to chop this and dry it. And also, I already washed it. Also, I'm gonna um, take all the leaves of the stems of this, or maybe not, yeah, I think so. And then also dry it. And this I'm gonna put into my dinner tonight. I'm not sure in what way, maybe just toss it in my salad. salad. And I'm drinking the tea now. And Oh yeah, so this is the, um, the Weegbree and the Hondstraf, so the plantain and the ground ivy, and it tastes super foresty. I must be honest, the Hondstraf also has a weird goatee taste to it, just like sage sometimes has that. Yes, I said goatee, goat, like Burr, goat <laughs> is really weird but if, if you smell it this is what when you go into the forest and you smell it that's well, I find it such a wonderful thought to know that when you go outside there will always be food and medicine and that's something that calms my heart and i hope through this video that it will calm your heart as well and also give back to mama earth because she gives us so much i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe if you want to see more also check out some other videos if you like and like Click on the like. Thanks. <laughs> you know, it helps my exposure on the tube. And I also love to read your comments. Have you ever been harvesting wild plants, wild medicine? Do you already know these herbs? Um, how do you use them? And did I already say to do your own research? There's so much information on the net. This was just an intro video. Um, it's, it's such a wonderful abundance, but you should also, also be careful, right? So I'm sending you lots of love. Bless you. Love. Peace.